Come and listen to a story about a man named Bill. Pick Razor back with the destiny to fill. But 20 years before, he would take the oath and freed. He dodged Vietnam and he took a little weed. <laughs> Reefer, that is. Mary Jane didn't inhale. Well, the next thing you know, Bill's the head of Arkansas. Fiddling with the budget and a honey from Hee Haw. They said, hey, Bill, you should be the chief exec. So he balanced off the ticket with another redneck. Gore, that is. Senator. Tennessee. The Capitol Hillbillies. So now it's time to say goodbye to Bush and all his kin. So take that dog and Millie too, cause Bill's a swearing in. He better work some miracles on this economy. And not do to the country what he does to Hillary. Jennifer too. Take your clothes off. Y'all come again now, yeah? On a drink, glide with the guide on a funky scene. Here comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent, for pros, and sisters with twisters for you to look and listen. It seems you don't believe, so you believe what I can picture. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. We're jokes and folks, and folks, they need you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill, this show's got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, or the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living and living in color. <laughs> because I'm the picture of health. That's because I start off every day with a big glass of prune juice. Miss mm -hmm. Benita's got more movements than Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> well, look at here if it ain't Gretchen Kabunki. Hey, girl, I don't know why you here. You in perfect health. <laughs> you got a figure any woman would die for. <laughs> That's because if they had a figure like that, they'd kill themselves. <laughs> so skinny they had to tie knots in her legs to make knees. Mm -hmm. People in Somalia are sending her food. But I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. Well, look at here's Dr. Fletcher. How you doing, Dr. Fletcher? What a wonderful doctor you are. <laughs> you got the best practice in the entire world. <laughs> Malpractice, that is. Mm -hmm. He's made more vegetables than the Jolly Green Giant. Man so mean, he gives a rectal exam with a Freddy Krueger glove. Whoa, look at here, if it ain't Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher, I'm sorry to see you in pain. Oh, boy, I know your wife must be besides herself. That's because she caught him sleeping with someone besides herself. That man wears a steel bound to condom. Last time she caught him cheating, she messed up his face so bad it looked like you ought to dip some Doritos in it. <laughs> oh, here comes Jan Young and her brand new bundle. Let me get a peek at the precious little thing. Oh, he's cute as a bug in a rug. <laughs> 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 More like a maggot in a diaper. <laughs> they can't let that baby play in the sandbox because the cat keeps burying it. <laughs> oh, Miss Abbott, look at you. You still got your jaws wide shut? Ooh, I really admire that. You got a whole lot of guts. <laughs> got a whole lot of guts, a whole lot of butts, and a whole lot of chins. If she's on a liquid diet, that woman must be juicing bunt cakes. She's so fat, after sex, she smokes a turkey. Doctor! Doctor, come quick! My, my grandmother! What's happening? What's happening? Who is it? I think she passed out. That's Miss Jenkins from the Hopkins Project. <laughs> Look, I think 
she'll be all right. Let's get her to the hospital. Come on. Oh. Woo. Woo, we almost lost Miss Jenkins, honey. That was a close shave. Whew. And speaking of close shaves, she could use one. That woman's got so much facial hair, she looks like Chewbacca with a weave. But I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. Hi, I'm Amy Fisher. You know the Long Island Lolita? And this is Joy Butterfuku over here. Hey! Joy Butterfuku over here! Hey, girls, are you a cop? Are you good with a handgun? Do you like to have sex in a car? Are you as dumb as dip? But you still want to make a lot of money? Then take Amy's special bang for your buck seminar! Tell him, princess! Three simple steps. One, you get yourself a really sexy guy. Hey, <laughs> Joey Butter, we'll go away. But to land yourself a really sexy guy, first you gotta get yourself a whole lot of hair. Anything less than two feet ain't really sexy. Right, Joey? Joey Butter, we'll go over here! Step two, you get yourself a gun and you find this guy's wife. Then you just point and shoot. Bada bing, bada bing. Step three. You sell off your movie rights, your paperback rights. Then you look for the new sitcom on Fox. The Butterfuckers over here. Hey, sure. I'm going to spend a couple of years in the slammer. But I'm already eligible for parole in 95 over here. And all this money spread out with three years in the clink, that works out to per year. Oh, she's working it out. I could put something, to, well, a whole lot of money. So take my seminar. Yeah, right. I took Amy's seminar and nobody bought my rights. All I did was go straight to jail. Oops. I almost forgot the most important step. Step number four, make sure that you're white. Yeah, because Hollywood only buys stories about white people killing each other over here. Hey, God, now give me a kiss here, Joey. Yo, come here, you. Hey, Joey, what are you kissing that whore for? Hey, Mary Jo, I wasn't kissing her, I was, uh... Giving a CPR over here. <laughs> Give me a break. That's my Joey. Always trying to help people over here. All right, everybody break it up. Visiting day is over over here. Dial 555 five, five, Lolita. I'll get you more bang for your buck. But a bing, but a bang. It's just that simple. Call me. Over here? Over here. You know what to do. Go. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Rap superstar at the bar. I'm looking for the chick with the rip six. I'm slick, black 600, keep the windows tinted, and I keep my engine running when your girl comes running. Uh. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Take it. Diamonds on the wrist, girl, pop the crisp. I'm the king of the club, I'm the one you love. Books 
turn white with fear. Others hiss panic. <laughs> Some even suffer from pollution Asians. <laughs> I'm a right. Not my African American brothers, though. They're always chilling. Like my good friend, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Just as cold as his record sales, huh? <laughs> After that corny ass movie. Tonight, I scared up a tale of fright that isn't your usual Hollywood nightmare on Cracker Street. This monster piece of a fright was made by brothers. Four brothers. Salam alaikum. So, lock your doors, turn up the light, and be prepared to get curdled. Blood. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm happy too, baby. Come here, girl. Look at here, girl. Home sweet home. <laughs> Honey, I just can't believe that we got this place so okay, cheap. This is nice. You know, we can really yeah, fix this place up too, man. So. Right, real nice. Hey, hey, hey. But first, we gotta get this damn door fixed. <sighs> I think we got some freaks living next door to us. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm gonna tell you about. Oh, we got some super freaks up in here. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> hey, maybe it's James Brown. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man, we didn't order no Genzu knives, man. You need to run up my porch. I can't even get in my own house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> calm yourself, calm yourself. It's all right, honey. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna hang up my coat. One thing about this place, the rats, you all smaller. Yeah? Lots smaller. Get out of my house! This is my house! The hell it is! We took out a VA loan and borrowed $3,000 for the down payment. Can't feel the burning fires! Oh, no, what you do is you prepare to get your butt kicked. Yeah, yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. I'll give you something to holler about. Keep it up. I guess if you know what? Martin is coming on in two minutes. You need to hush up so I can see some shenanigans. Shut the hell up. My house. Oh, heck. I guess we can find another house to be our gateway to hell. Come on. Oh, ho, oh. ho. Now, that, was, that was frightful. That was frightfully brief, wasn't it? <laughs> but then again, my people don't fear nothing that goes bump in the night. Unless it's coming through the window with a shotgun. <laughs> but join me next time for another terrific story when I bring you Friday the first day of the rent. <laughs> They would have been counting those positions against our administration, those bean counters who are doing that, if I had appointed white men to those positions. I'm back! Thought you could take me, didn't you? Well, let me ask you this. How you gonna inaugurate your tales a new president if good old Ross Perot done bought off all the airtime? And that's just what I've done right now. Go ahead, flip the channels, see if I ain't lying. I predict a big doo-doo storm covering this whole dang country unless somebody finds me a government job, but quick! I'm still here! Say, folks, you ever notice how there's no blacks, no Jews, no Puerto Ricans on the Jetsons? Future looks pretty bright, don't it? You tell me what you're wearing. I'm all ears. Now that's downright sexy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. I can almost feel you right now. Drill for oil. We're gonna need red of there to cap this one. You wanna know my favorite position? I'll tell you. It's a cabinet position, Dagnabbit.
Mr. Marshall, I'm still gonna be here. I'm gonna be all over you like Mike Tyson at a beauty pageant. Now, come on. Come on now. <laughs> Say it, lay your hands in the air. Welcome to You Bet Your Career. The show that gives airtime to former stars with big egos and bad judgment. For example, here's your host, Bill Cosby. Now, you know the rules of the game. I come out and I make silly faces while the contestants suck up to me. <laughs> while I make silly faces or else I shoot them. Duh, so go, so. No, I'm just kidding. Now, let me introduce to you my assistant, Mr. T. Hey, fool! How you doing? Now... Correct me if I'm wrong. I will, fool. Okay. Now, but didn't you once have a top-rated TV series? You had your own cartoon, and you had gold around the neck. That's right, fool. Well, what happened? I was a fool. No argument here. Now, let's greet our contestants for tonight. Let's give it up for Dr. Perkins and Bad. It's crazy out there, man. How come every time you get on the airplane, they give you them little old pillows, man? I said, hey, man, this ain't no pillow. This a tampon, man. And that little baby, that little baby crying, man. That little baby crying loud. I ain't lying. Baby got a big old butt. Sinbad, Sinbad, how many times do I have to tell you you don't have to shout to be funny? You just have to make silly faces, you know? There you go, make a silly face. Now, Delta. Why in heaven's name did you leave designing women? Well, my co-stars thought I was getting a big head. Oh, it ain't your head. It's your big old butt. <laughs> big old greasy butt, man. You know, what is the difference between Delta Burke and Delta Airlines, man? 20 pounds, man. I ain't lying. <laughs> lying. Sit back, you know, you're the only man who shampoos his hair with tang. <laughs> Now, stop the badgering and the arguing. Now, tonight, you two will be playing for the walk-on part of the TV show, Major Dad. Oh, ooh, ooh, pick, pick me, pick me. Oh, I'm supposed to warm up. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, our category, as always, is bad career moves. Now, listen to the question. This star made an awful career move when they left the popular TV series. Oh, that would be me. Oh, it's got to be me. No, you're both wrong. It's me. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, next question. Whose career went down the toilet this year? Oh, Vanilla Ice. That is correct. <laughs> and whose career ended this year? Uh, Dennis Miller. You are correct again. Now, here is the bonus question. Whose career is going to be washed up next year? Oh, Tom Arnold! You are correct again! Now, I'm glad to say that, hey, what is, oh, what is going on, filth flying and flying? Hey. Can't you see that we're doing the show here? Hey, we're repossessing this stuff, Mr. Cosby. How many times do I have to tell you? You've been canceled. What do you, what do you mean I've been canceled? I'm the most beloved father on television. You don't know nothing. I did all the voices for Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Beaver can to Beaver Council, Bubba. <laughs> what are you doing? Need a hand. How's 20 bucks sound? Deal, fool. Hey, man, let me get some of that action. Oh, but me too. Uh, Sinbad, Delta, how could you do this to me? Hey, work is work. I don't care. I can I can buy this network. I don't need you to cancel me. I got money. Look at this here. I can't be canceled. This is Arthur, and we're here to introduce Uptown MCA's recording artist, Father MC. Everything will be all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come on. See, you're moving, baby. And 
you look so good. Yeah, you look so fine. Everything's gonna be your right. Let the music take control. Yeah. Tricky and Mo. Get ready to do your thing before I rock away. Well, I begin the weekend with a groove. Roll about eight deep. Now, what's my next move? Wait until night four. I can enjoy system pump by four chiefs. Running like a convoy. Roll to the club. Kind of crowded. What a scene. Pulling up with Joe to see. Blasting out the 15. So I park my ride. Girl, see my gear in. Notice my grill. Like I'm to pointing and steering. Let the music take control. Let the music take control of your body. Come on. Check it out. I sign a couple autographs, take a few flicks, order Don Perry on. They back with my chicks. Mike is on the left of me, smooth as flipping. Tricky and Moet on all the dance floor ripping. Suck is with the cutie, Big D, I'm trying to find him. Tim is in the front, and Moet is right behind him. And me, I'm just laying on the prowl. Gotta say what's up as your girls cry out. Grab your man, I think you tried to play him. My only thought was to step till the AM. I came to have a good time. And at the end of the night, no doubt, I'm gonna get mine. I don't have to raise my voice to be seen, I maintain. If you know what I mean, understand I'm not conceited. Father's just mellow, I'm a smooth dog, Romeo freak kind of fellow. Everything's gonna be alright. Let the music take control of your body. Let's show the world how we do my dance. Let's show them. Do my dance, do my dance, baby, do my dance, let's work it out. Do my dance, do my dance, baby, do my dance, let's work it out. Do that dance, do that dance, baby, do that dance, let's work it out. Uh. Lounging on the DL, the type of night is rare. I glance to the right, oh, who do we have here? Puff and Steve getting ripped, what the hell? I see Mr. Uptown himself, Andre Hobrell. Conversating with his boys as they suck the bar straight through the crowd. It's time to get charged, it's kind of mellow, so I leap to the center where the soul's rolling five deep. Corey, it's on Ken and LQ, doing the wild thing, cause the soul is true.